Okay, so now this is exciting. If you have watched any of my previous videos, you know that I'm a big fan of SoFi. I feel this new fintech company is so undervalued and it has so much growth potential. Now let's look at some of the biggest news that came out for SoFi and what it means for this stock and folks, this is juicy. So Baron Fund, an asset management fund, published its second quarter 2021 investor letter and I will link the PDF in the description. In this letter, they mentioned SoFi and how well this fintech is positioned. Let's look at what they have to say and then we'll discuss few more catalysts that is going to give you the price prediction which is going to open your eyes in a big way. I was totally shocked when I see the price prediction. Okay, so let's start with the investor letter from Baron. Now, the letter talks about SoFi in detail and it actually covers each and every point that I discussed in my previous video. But let's look at few of them which makes this company stands apart from others. And also, before that, do me a favor, mention in the comment how many shares you hold and what is your average price on those shares. I'm actually looking to add few more after reading this article and also the new price projection. Okay, coming back to the letter. So number one, right here, I have actually outlined for you. Yes, you can see. Okay, so number one is SoFi Technology is a branchless right here digital bank that provide a range of financial services product for the high earners not well served. That means in short tapping the untapped market. As I mentioned in my previous video, they are a very smart company. Number two, we believe right here that SoFi has now the broadest product suite of any new bank in the US and we view the lending segment SoFi's historical strength as a differentiated product line that few new bank competitors currently offer. In short, they are head to head with any other fintech platforms like PayPal, Chime, etc. And they are saying that SoFi has the most product than any other bank, which is what I said that they will be bigger than any other fintech company and will offer more services than a traditional plus fintech bank. Number three, SoFi can offer right here. So SoFi can offer products right here, potential customers a product at many points in their life cycle, such as student loan refinancing for new graduates or brokerage when those graduate accumulate savings. In short, offering products in every stage of your life, yours truly, SoFi. That's what it means. Okay, number four, over time, we expect SoFi to continue signing up members and then cross-selling those members multiple product which should drive improving unit economics and profit growth. In short, customer acquisition cost will decline resulting in higher profit, exactly what I mentioned. So if you look at my older video for SoFi, you will see each and every one of those points discussed in detail. I'll say again that this company is run by some very smart folks. Now let's talk about valuation and this is where you will get some green eyes. Take a look at this. So based on the product offering and future growth, right here, I'm gonna show you. Actually, before that, let's take a look here. So SoFi Technologies, they purchased about $9.9 million worth of the stock uh, Baron Fund added to their portfolio. Now let's talk about the projection right here. So some of the analysts have given this stock a value of about $56.59. That's, look, right now, 1584 when I recorded this video. And in next 12 months, they're saying that the stock can reach 56.59. So not only that, look what they're saying here. They're projecting that the annual revenue will reach 2 billion by 2023, right here. 2.1 billion by December 30th, 2023. This is their earning and revenue growth forecast. As you can see, right now we are in 2021. It's really going to take off from 2022 all the way to 2023. Now this is really, really exciting. And we will know exactly what the number is as we get close to Q4, but this is a huge jump from where we are right now, which is damn exciting for the stock price, which is very exciting for the revenue. Okay, another exciting thing to note here is the comparison between institution and general public. Now, both institution and general public hold a similar number of share. Actually, institution hold more in terms of percent. So if you look at this chart, this is what shows that how many percent is held by institution, how many by general public. So as you can see, institution hold about 43.8% shares and general public about 41.7% share and individual insider 7.8 and PE firms about 6.7. So as you can see over here that we have or this company has a very strong hold for institutional investors, which is really, really exciting. Okay, coming back to the Baron Fund. So the Baron Fund's total stake right now is 79.1 million right here. This is Baron Capital, I'm gonna underline it here. 
This is Baron Capital right here. So their stake is 79.1 million. They're not even in top 10. And these guys are coming out and saying so many bullish things about SoFi that is just mind blowing. And on top, as you can see, majority or top 10 of the investors, they hold massive amount of money or massive amount of stock in SoFi. So this is really, really cool. SoFi institutional ownership has increased by the ratio of 59 is to 11, which is almost over five times. So as you can see in the last quarter when they reported, they added about 118 institutional investors and only 22 sold out. This is a really bullish sign. So given the latest surge in institutional interest and also the ratio which clearly shows that institution hold more share of this company as compared to retail investors, that is always a bullish sign for a company for long term. Stock like these, you need to invest more and trade if you see an opportunity. I did a video on trading versus investing. I'll link it up here. So do check it out to understand how I pick names for investing versus trading. Hope I provided some value in the video and if you like, then consider subscribing as a lot of viewers have not subscribed and hit the like button so we can reach out to more SoFi lovers. As always, thank you for being here. Love you all. Until next time, you all have a sparkling day.